Hey, what's up guys, the Apex Sound, and welcome back to some more um, PGA Tour. This is part 5, Jordan Spieth and Ricky Fowler. We're going to be doing a special round today, just because it's the Open. We're going to be playing at St. Andrews, where the Open 2015 is on. Uh, it's playing really easy today. I've been watching the first couple hours, of it, the first 5 or 6 hours over there. Dustin Johnson's in the lead at the moment. Um, Jordan Spieth isn't too far behind. I'm hoping Dustin wins it. He's not in this game. I was going to put Dustin and Ricky in the final group, but I think maybe Jordan Spieth and Dustin Johnson or Dustin Johnson or Ricky Fowler are going to be in the final group in, on Sunday. Um, I'm going to do this as a little bit of a predictions video, and we're just going to check out what St. Andrews is like, seeing as it's the open week. Uh, I've made my bets. Uh, Luke Donald, Ricky Fowler, Dustin Johnson. Um, they are my three main bets right there. Luke Donald started off well. He's, he finished four under today. So that's, that was a pretty good round. The the lead, Dustin Johnson, is seven under. I think he's tied with like Paul Lowry or something. I'm not sure how if Paul Lowry is still there or not. But I, I assume he'll fade away. But Dustin is at the top of his game right now. He's driving the ball better than anyone ever has, I think. I know that's a big statement. But Dustin Johnson, seriously, he's driving the ball better than anyone, anyone I've ever seen. He hits it so far, and it's nearly always dead straight as well. It's crazy. It's craziness. But um, Dustin Johnson usually drives at about 340, 350 yards. It's crazy distances. I don't know. EA Sports is proud St. Andrews, baby. Today's PGA Tour coverage. The Open Championship. Let's go. The Ricky old course. Here on so many occasions, what's the magic of the old course? Let's say this is the Sunday final group: Jordan Spieth and Ricky Fowler. We still really don't even know the original design or the golf course. I think it just sort of evolved through through time. Um, originally, it was 22 holes reduced to 18. The fact that when you look at the scorecard, you play nine holes out. And you turn Ricky's not out for another go. hour, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch that. Uh, I want to see how Ricky does. So we're going to play as both these guys, Jordan Spieth and Ricky. And we're going to see how we do on the old course. For example, if you're on the third, it's adjacent to the 15th, the 4th, the 14th. Um, it, it's a place that just continually grows on you, and then you realize you're playing inside like a museum of the game. So the breeze isn't too heavy here. Um, it's not too heavy, so it's not too bad. Wind gusts are on, though, so they can, they can go up at any time. up like it's teed up. Alright, Rick. Should we hit driver with Rick? We hit tree with there with. We won't make that, will we? No, there's no way. What well, a golf shot, Rick. I'm gonna play, like, pretty realistically, though. I'm gonna take irons off most of these tees and stuff like that. With the short ones, unless we can get to the green. I'm not gonna be like Dustin Johnson just smashing at every green. Ricky's pretty happy with that one. Frank, on the second shot here at this first hole, a player will get a good sense of, of the winds here and how they can play a role at the old course. And they'll also get a good sense of exactly how punishing this wind won't affect it that much for a short shot, I guess. Things. For example, that burn is only about three or four yards across. Oh, that's big, that's big. Sit, sit, sit. Oh my god, okay, this is hopping. Because in real life right now, the course is very soft, but usually the course is fast and hard. So, it's going to be hopping. So, we're going to try and play that a little bit short there. Yeah, see, this is going to be difficult. You're going to have to play these shots way short. Because that I landed that barely on the green, and it still hopped on a mile. So, yeah, this is going to be difficult. You can already tell. It's going to be a lot more difficult than it's playing in real life today. I imagine the greens will be pretty fast, too. But Ooh. Chance to go in. It was close. Looks like he just misread that. St. Andrews looks beautiful though. It's looking good. I must say. Feet from the bottom of the cup. Look at that. Look at all the buildings and stuff. It's really, really done quite well. I must say. I'm liking it. Okay, Ricky, that better be in the middle, buddy. Oh, lips out. So basically there was no break on that part because I only put a tiny bit on that. So this is going to be a long video, guys, because we're doing two two guys or whatever. Um, so it might be a little bit long, but it should be fun. Uh, trying out all the holes. You get to see all the holes that are being played at the Open Championship, so you get a, a feel for what the course is like. It's obviously a lot softer in real life this week, but... Um, other than that, uh, you'll see how they're all laid out and stuff, and it's pretty cool. 
ideally, if you're not the longest hitter, just down the right side. But if uh, if you've got some um, some wind conditions, wind behind your back, you can nearly drive this green. Are you kidding me? Drive this green? Are you stupid? It's a 444 yard drive. No one in the world can drive this green. Not even Dustin Johnson with his very best drive can drive this. So I like the way the drives are hopping on too, because that was a 330 yarder right there. Jesus. I hope they add in Dustin in this one. Because I really want to see Dustin in this game. Dustin Johnson, that is. If, um, I want to see how far he hits it and stuff like that. It would be absolutely awesome to see him in the game. And, and they are adding in free content post-launch, like they have said. But um, I'm not exactly sure like when that's coming or if they're actually going to be adding players or if it's just courses or what. They haven't really specified on it. So... I'm I'm looking forward to seeing Frank, what the position where free content is. His chops here. Good chance to make a so I'm basically this gonna have this. this game just looks like fun. What we're gonna try Focus is don't seem to be in play. even the, the 60 degrees really is gonna go a little right too far. Now, it's just the flag. But I think around here. Um, so if we go the full 60 and then hit it to about here, because the, the way these are hopping on, it's crazy. And with that wind too. Oh, nice divot, Jordan. Watch the hop this gets. He, that didn't even land on the green. That was good. That was good. That was good. So they're really hopping mad, so you really have to, like, play for them dropping a little bit shorter. Okay, let's try this. I know that's a little bit much, but what are you going to do? It's going to be perfect. Oh, we really got down on top of that one. That was a lot of height on that. See the amount of height we had on that? And still, it, it takes a big hop forward. It spins at the end, but that's two good birdie chances there. Ricky's failer, look, Ricky Fowler's face looked really fat there. <laughs> okay, Jordan's going to make a birdie on hole two. He birdied his first two today in real life. Um, he hasn't been doing too excellent on the back nine, but not too bad either. And Ricky's going to make the bird as well, so that's a good start. A good start, ladies and gentlemen. So I know I said I was going to do like a round on every course with every player. I'm still doing that, uh, in case you're wondering. But just for now, I thought uh, as soon as it's the start of the Open, that I would do this video. And TPC Scottsdale just came out as well, so I might do a video of that as well. Oh, hit the down slope and keep going, keep going, keep going. Get over that hill. That was a nice try. So once again, you want to drive the ball down the right side, but there's a series of pot bunkers there. To get the angle, you want to drive down the left, yeah. As long as we don't reach those bunkers, we are fine. No, we're not going to reach them, for sure. Oh, god damn. What a drive. 335-yard drive. We're getting some crazy distances with these. Like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. <laughs> Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Frank, we should have seen this coming because remember, he made noise as a 16-year-old high school junior by contending at the HP Byron Nelson Championship at his hometown of Dallas. Yeah, I remember that. I was there, and, and I'm like, who is this kid? And, and then I uh, got to meet Wait, so pitch only goes 29 family. yards. Um... <laughs> It's just a tremendous upside. Uh, okay. It's going to be nice to turn I thought a pitch goes further. And say, Flop. Saw Jordan Spieth play. Shit. Dad played college baseball. Mom played some college basketball. Has a brother punch. Who Let's try a punch also here. Also plays college. The absolute banter. Frank, he's mature beyond his years. Spieth handles all the responsibilities that come with stardom very well. Yeah, you can improve a guy's golf swing. You can uh, give them a bit of grip, maybe some better technique. Oh, what a punch shot, Jordan. Give a person a better mind. Look at that roll, though. Unbelievable. Great shot, short. Now after that approach shot for a birdie. Oh, he was so precise coming in, and the measurement is nine feet away. So is this still going to be a pitch or what? I don't think so. Okay, let's try it up here. Because it kind of comes in from there. All right. Go on. Bounce on now like Jordan's did. Like Jordan's did. Yes. All right, now we're getting the hang of these greens, you see, and the hang of where you have to hit them, and we're doing it well. Jordan Speed eyeing this putt for birdie. Oh, wow, not enough break at all. Oh, man. Jeez. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. 
Not enough to break in the one. slightest. Big putt for birdie. Just enough on that one. And Ricky's going to make two birders in a row. Back to back. Jordan's going to make a par. So Ricky has the lead here at the Open Championship 2015. I have it on in the background here as well. I'm not watching it because I'm obviously focused on recording this video, but I'm just looking there and... There is two ways to play the fourth off the tee. You can hit it down the right Every now and then, I'm just taking a quick a glance at it. Oh yeah, one thing someone did tell me to do was turn off the freaking comma trail as well. Let's see. Presentation setting. T to green camera, follow. Comma tail, off. Off, okay. Um... Okay, yeah, that's fine. I just want that dumb comma trail off. All right. Let's resume. All right, we should be able to clear that easily. Man, we're getting some monster drives here. 342, 344. The roll is crazy in St. Andrews here. 344 yard drive. Hang time on that. See Jordan's here. That should be up and around the same. 340, I would imagine, because Jordan can't hit it quite as far as Ricky. But if that hits the down slope, it could go as far. No. No. 335. Alright. A little bit behind. He's a little bit behind Ricky all day, but Ricky's a big hitter. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. I think that's it's actually going to be perfect. This 56 degree. That's a green line special right there. Watch this. Seems to like it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Stop now! Stop now! Stop now! Beautiful! Beautiful, Jordan. Just gorgeous. Tiger Woods is doing terrible today in real life, um, which is disappointing. I don't He's, he's not doing too bad on, um, on the back nine here, but he's just having a bad day, man. Okay, what we're going to do is take a, just a, a yard off that, guys. Oh, crap. Short swing as well. That could be short. No, nope, that should be okay, actually. That's long. Wow. That's perfect. Two great birdie chances again. We're really getting the hang of this now. St. Andrew's course is awesome. Allen has this for birdie. So Jor it's it's great. Uh, Jordan and and Johnson are playing together. Jordan Spieth and Dustin Johnson are playing together, and it's it's really really interesting to see like the differences in their game because they play the game completely different, but um they still have all similar results. Like they were both six under after I think it was uh, eleven holes or something, and they were playing completely different. Jordan was laying up everywhere, and Dustin was just going at everything. It was it was interesting to see the different ways he could play in it. And you don't have to be long to to get birdies, but it helps. It sure helps. Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze behind you. But um, it's quite wide in the driving area, with the exception of those three bunkers on the right that just sort of pop out. But um, God damn, Ricky! Those, this, uh, this, par five this is a par five here. I think we're going to be able to get to this in two pretty easy. Good tee shot, right in the fairway, and plenty long. All right, George. Stutish. I'm really disappointed in Ricky's attire. That's only the even one I like. Um, I wish he had like his orange colors and stuff. He doesn't have any of that. It's kind of bullshit. He doesn't have any of his really colorful outfits in this game at all, uh, which is really disappointing. Really, really disappointing, in fact. But whatever. I'm sure they'll add in some outfits. Jordan Speed is five under at the moment. He dropped back a little bit. He had a bogey and. And right five par since fairway. since he was six under in real life. Now I'm talking about. Okay, I think actually right, this, one of the unique characteristics of this should the old be perfect. Course is that only the first, ninth, seventeenth, and eighteenth holes have their own greens. Yeah. Why is there two freaking? What a golf shot! Jordan has that for an eagle. As well as uh, there's a whopping 112 bunkers, and uh, believe me, they're all in play. 
They each have their own name. All 112. Uh, pretty much so, yeah. There's Dustin a, a has a par putt at the um, moment in real life right now. The, the courts, a long one. Uh, the principals know there's some that do stand out. Uh, but, uh, and, and he makes it. Nice. Sorry, I'm kind of giving you updates from the actual Parker. Open as I'm watching, uh, as I'm playing St. Andrews here. Okay, big. come on. No, it's probably probably the size of a, a couple of tables. Okay, um, be good. Quite as deep as it was, that, that, that has to be good. Come on, jump up, jump up. Get the kick, get the kick. Kick left. Oh, oh, oh Ricky. That's two short eagle putts right there, ladies and gentlemen. We're t picking St. Andrews apart right now. If I can do as good as Dustin Johnson's doing in real life right now, I'll be pretty happy. Seven under. After. Oh, yes. He gets the eagle. And Jordan Speed celebrates like a madman. <laughs> See if we can get two eagles, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what the hell? Did we make that? Yes. Ricky makes the eagle too. Five under after five. Dustin was four under after five. The crowd is going mental here, lads. The course St. Andrews in real life is playing so easy at the moment. It's ridiculous. Um, so Three bunkers that look like they're in the left center of the fairway in a series of bunkers down the right. Uh, so somehow I set those and then uh, you set yourself up to a green with a false. Oh my god, that's disgusting, Ricky. These drives are disgusting. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Oh, 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 oh. Off on a weird line. Jordan. It's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Rich, there's rough and rough. That ball is needle nose down. Can't even see it from here. Jordan's not happy with that Second one. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Hop, 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 hop. All right, it's okay. He's knocked it on the green, but not in it's a birdie putt out of the rough. You'll always take a par out of the rough here. Up here. Long birdie try. Why does... Oh. This stupid thing keeps disconnecting. I'm sorry about that, guys. Go on. Go on. Alright. It's okay. I don't even know why it's disconnecting. It's so annoying. This long putt for birdie could be a tough one here. Tough one. It's dead straight. That's the easiest putt I've ever taken in my life. Why is St. Andrews so easy here? I don't even have to line this up. They're just dead straight in the middle. <laughs> six under after six for Ricky Fowler. This is crazy easy. And hole seven here is drivable. Why is this, what's up with these double greens? We went straight left of this and just kind of... That's going in the green. That's going on the green. Oh, shit, no. Hop! Oh! <laughs> what a hop! That was beautiful. Hop straight over the bunker. It's the great equalizer when you can drive the golf ball, Frank, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing here now. Up so many avenues and he'll have plenty to choose Jordan's going to do the exact same thing. Good. Hop it, Chance hop it, hop it, hurt. hop it. Oh, that's not far enough to hop it. It's going straight in it. Go on, get up! No, no! Oh, God, these in bunkers the bunker. in St. Andrews are not good Dixon, either. Ready for the bunker shot. Yeah, second shot here. Just trying to aim a little bit behind that ball, an inch or two. Go on, get up, get up, hop on. So the second the it's too far uphill. I, 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 but I thought if I was going to hit it further, it might have hit the lip of the bunker or something, so I didn't want to risk that. Either. See if he does it here. Stop, stop, stop. Jesus. It ran on quite a bit there. Still a birdie putt, though. Getting set for another approach. Our I thought this hole was going to be easy, but really, really at this it's not that easy. Yeah, right now, this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good. The time oh my God! Like See that? See how far back I brought that, and still how far past it goes. Swing is exactly where you want it crazy. To be. So really, you're just looking at the flag. It's crazy how firm this is. Really. So 
was an awkward length. An awkward length birdie putt, and that's going to be short. We'll never know if that had gone that's in, short. It never made it. Man, I hate how much they show Tiger Woods even when he's when he's doing terrible. He's four over, and they're showing every shot he takes. It's like it's draining. It's draining watching him. None of mine. Oh crap! Oh my gosh, that hurts. I hope that the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, it still like went it. right. Wake up, wake okay. Up. <laughs> it's a par. Well, you can see it there. Feels very good about what he's doing. That's a nice par. It's a bogey for something. Jordan. Puts them at four under for the round. Alright, okay, we're fine. That was a tough little hole there because I was only just off the green for an eagle and a par. It looks flat, it looks like it's easy, but once that flag gets on the left side, this one, the hole becomes a little bit more difficult. It's very easy to take this hole for granted. Um, very hard to hit it close though. Oh yeah, be right. This is not hitting in the right direction. Uh, jump, like jump! What? Into the tall cabbage, that ball is the I knew the wind was back into us, but I thought... With the downhillness, it would have made it. But obviously it did not. Okay, let's try here. This should be good. Ooh, I sliced that a little bit. What's up with these double greens? They're not there in real life, are they? Are they? I don't know. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Okay, this is downhill. We're gonna have to literally tap this. I'm gonna hit this like just as like really high up on the ball and just get it rolling. That's all you gotta do on these ones is just get it rolling. What the hell's happening here? Oh, I was in zoomed in. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, we were short that time. We might we left a little bit too short. But what are you gonna do, am I right? Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. Mm. It's a very long putt, Rich. It's easy. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for dirty. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be straight in. Stroke looked good. Too much uh, break on it. Good, just did not take that I barely put any on it, even, but. Has this for par. Pretty much dead straight there, Ricky. -like hole, That's a par. A with a par. Solid golf. Putt. This is Jordan Speed. Four under on the deck. Yeah, four under after eight and six under after eight. We'll take it. Coming back to the home of golf this summer. Yeah, and, uh, and remember too, the last time it was here, Louis Ustazen at the ninth hole. He had no problem driving. I'm gonna take that bunker out of play. So let's see if you can do the same. If I'm gonna take that bunker out of play. So I'm gonna just there's every chance back to here with a hybrid, a five wood, whatever Ricky's hitting, five wood, I think. All right, perfect. I'm going to do the same with Jordan here. I'm just going to hit my three hybrid. Just send that up there. I hooked that a little bit, but it's alright. It's fine. Jordan Speed, ready for his second shot. Alright, George, let's do this. Wind is here. We go again with this crap. It turns off for a second and just turns straight back on. Like why? Can someone tell me why that happens? I think the wind and the jump should even themselves out there. So that should be perfect. This is a good-looking shot. Jump in there. Oh, a little bit, a little bit more. Nice result. Chance for birdie coming up. A little bit more. And this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, you obviously can't do a fade shot if, if you don't have it set up, huh? Trying to cut a little bit off there. No, you can't. Okay. Shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Okay. Let's hit a flop here because it might just take a little bit out of. Kill it a little bit. Kill the, little, the run of it a little bit. Oh, not that much. Jesus. Wow, it killed it a lot. I thought it would still run on. Obviously not. This one measures out to 24 feet. I'm effing up this whole bad. 
It's breaking both ways, but I think at the end it's going to break in. No, not enough. Good looking putt, just not falling right now. Oh. Sadly, he's going to be disappointed. It's a bogey. It's a snack, though. Ooh, I nearly hit that back since. Okay, that should be perfect, though. I probably should have hit it without. No, not enough. I thought it was going to be too much break. Because it hasn't really broke when I've done that the last couple of times, but whatever. Five under, five under and four under for nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. I should be better with Ricky, though. I should be six or seven. But what are you going to do? No, it isn't. Unless you're Dustin Johnson, this is not a par five drive. Or drivable par four, I mean. Course down the left. You're still going to be careful. Just, uh, Kick on. This hole, what a great name. Oh, what a great drive, Dustin. Dustin? I mean, Jordan. Dustin could drive this green, but not the normal driver's left speed. Speed's not a massive hitter or anything. I'm going to aim it out here and just try and get it to land just above that and on the down slope and kick forward. Go on now. Go on now. Go on now. Land on that down slope. Land on that down slope. Oh, it landed on the up slope. Kind of killed it even. Damn it. It's disappointing. Still 326 Second up there, but what are you going to do? Fowler. It's the first time Jordan's out, out draw. Over. A good Ricky here. Okay, let's. A little bit short and leave it hop on. That should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Turns off two seconds. Turns back on. It's it's not really like affecting me, but it just annoys me. It really annoys me. Like it really makes me incredibly angry, if I'm being honest. Like what the hell's well, even he happening here? Been bothered by these strong winds today. It has really been gusty. See, fuck, man, it's so annoying. Team. Stop turning off, you stupid ass controller. And I, I swear to God, I've tried this with a couple of controllers on my Xbox. I have two other, I have one other controller, and it does the exact same thing with that one. So I don't know what the hell it is, man. It's something. There's something radically wrong with my Xbox, or I don't know what it is. It's well, ridiculously annoying. Like, it really makes me incredibly angry. That's a putt, though. That's a putt, Rake. Good man. One of the best putters in the world at the moment, Jordan's me. For sure. Five under, six under? True ten holes, baby. Ha ha. Let's do this. The two bunkers that the players normally worry about, Streth bunker in the front and the hill bunker to the left, what makes those two bunkers so difficult is the steepness of the faces. Baba booey? Baba booey? Whoa, that's way too far. Uh oh. He's knocked it on the green, but not I thought in the uphill position. there at the end, at the start of it, would kill the uh, flight of it, but obviously not. Maybe back here. Because that went way too far. Back here could be good. Oh crap. I slipped. Slice that one. Damn it. It's going to go in the bunker. No, don't go in that bunker, please. Anywhere but that bu Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it just seemed a baby. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. That is bad. Some of these bunkers Great you have to end up playing sideways out of and everything. In this shot. Yeah, touch. You, you, you have to have that uh, feel. You have something between the ball This is bad, and ladies and gents. So it's a different feel, but you also have to have imagination. Oh, it's out. I didn't think I was even going to be able to get that out. It's out, though. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, my God. This is the hardest putt I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to have to literally play this up here. Not quite enough. <laughs> it's good for the break, but just not for the distance. That's a really hard putt. I'm gonna try chip this in for sure. No, I'm gonna go a little more straight out actually. Cause it's really not breaking that much. Oh, I hit the pin. Hits the pin and bounces out. I could, I had to come back a bit more. It was just a bit, a little bit shouldn't too pacey. This shouldn't be a problem. This is deadly. Oh, lips out. Up on the way to the next tee. 
Lips de freak out. The back nine is always way harder than the front nine at St. Andrews. That's a fact. So birdie bogey there on the back nine to start off for Jordan. And it's going to be a bogey for Ricky as well. Birdie bogey to start off for both Ricky and Jordan. And we're going to head to the par 4 12 at 5 under and 4 under. This is a drivable par 4 for sure. That bunker you want to avoid though. Um, There's a big crop of heather what I'm going to do is I'm going to try four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway. So just really gotta be hook it around that bunker a little bit. Good time to take the head cover off if you're a long hitter. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, well, how did it hook that much? I don't understand how it hooked that much. I've done it perfectly. Shaping shots is really difficult, even when you do it right. I'm going straight out over Rick here. I don't care. So I'm actually going to... I think I'd get there with a three wood with Ricky with the bounce it's gonna get. Cause it's gonna kick on hard from where I land this. But the wind though, that's the only thing. If the wind was even, this would be going on the green, but that's gonna hit the rough. Ah If that hadn't hit the rough, it would have kicked on. Quite a good bit, but I don't think it would have got to the green anyway. But what are you gonna do? Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Wow, was I really that far right? That's perfect though. That is Just a little right, right perfect distance. Alright, Jordan, it's time for a choke here. To knock it on the green. Just choke down on this little baby. Watch out of them, I'll go in. That was nearly an eagle. That should have been an eagle. One of the game's most electric performers, Ricky Fowler, now over this birdie putt. And he sinks it. Yes. Ricky sinks it to stay in the lead there. I don't think I've ever seen him celebrate like that, but what are you going to do? Birdie, bogey birdie to start off the back nine for both Jordan and Ricky. We'll take that. We'll take that. And I'm 13 now. Yeah, the and, uh, uh, this hole is reason. awesome. Um, there, I think I'll get over that bunker pretty handily. Get over it, get over it, get over it. I thought I would. I thought I'd get over it. Uh, I'm going to have to watch out for that here. Ricky will get over it though, for sure. Ricky's will be over that bunker. Because he's, he's about five yards longer and Spieth was... Oh, God, no. Oh, my God. Don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, no. Are you kidding, man? Come on. <sighs> Why are you celebrating that, Ricky? Please stop. Obviously, the scores will go up a little bit. Um... Given the conditions, but once again, oh, we hit the lip. Suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase? We hit the goddamn lip of the bunker. Definitely, when you're hitting it to a we hit hit the very top of it as well. So we're not going to be able to get there from here for sure. I'm just going to have to flop this out. Just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. I hit it again, even with a 60 degree. I hit that. So really, you have to play out sideways out of this bunker. <laughs> That's just the end. You have to play out sideways if you're that close. Okay, so we're quite a ways. Quite a ways back for our third shot here on a par four. But that's a good looking shot, Rick. That's a great looking shot, Rick. Oh yes, he has a chance to make that par. That would be a great par. Yards See if Jordan can do the same thing. Oh my god. I sliced that. How did that come back into play? Really? Hop on. That's okay. It's a part chance. That was ridiculous. I don't it took distance off it for sure, but I don't know. There's a lot of I don't know how that didn't go way right. That's okay, Jordan. That's all right. Oh, I nearly broke back into it. Right there. It's a bogey. Drop shot here at the 13th. These putts keep the round together. 
So at the start here, it's breaking to the right. At the end, it's breaking to the left, but it in. didn't break in enough. God, that's two bogeys again. Birdie, bogey, birdie, bogey for Ricky and Jordan here. Look at that. Look at that back nine. Birdie, bogey, birdie, bogey. For both of us. All right, well, could be worse. We're four under and five under still. Onto a par five. Maybe we can get an eagle here. The last par five was very eagleable. If you're in a little bit of trouble off the tee, there's nothing wrong with playing the 14th as a zigzag style par five. So that means the drive, if it doesn't go down the right, you go further left and then back to the green. But uh, it's a safer way, but a much longer option. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. The left shot. fairway, no fairway. way. Over 300 yards. What? This is not hitting in the right direction. Come on, it kick back like into the fairway. Rough. Oh no. Rich, do you think we should tell him this fairway out there? Yeah, There's lots the of fairway out there too. I don't know how the hell. Second shot coming out of the rough here. There's no way I'm reaching it now, anyway, but What I've done it again? Oh my god, how am I slicing these? There is. Jesus. find it though. And that one rolls just into the rough. Terrible. Jordan's going to have a chance to get back in. Tie for the lead here. Second shot. There's no way of making it, but what are you gonna do? I sliced it again. That one's okay, but I sliced it slightly again. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm slicing them. This one's not reachable, too, unless the wind was right like, with us, which it is not as against us. Oh, this is the seriously heavy rough here, guys. I'm gonna have to hit this. A cl two clubs extra and just hope for the best really that's not even coming close to the green I've sliced that one again <laughs> I sliced three shots in a row there with Ricky Fowler we're gonna have to make it good up and down for a par now and I'm going to have to roll this one down and get a birdie chance here oh I thought that would kick on further it did not that's a birdie chance though this par 5 is difficult Frankie very, very difficult. All right, come on, Rick. Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And, um, and you think, you just ride a par... What the hell? That's four now in a row I've sliced. Look at that one. That's still really good, but I mean, I sliced it. I don't know what I'm doing with Rick either. I don't know what I'm doing. That one was perfect. But that... I should have sliced that one. If I had sliced that one, I would have gone in. Where was the break there? Like there was break on that, but it up, just... <laughs> okay, Ricky's going to make a par at least. That was a good par sitting this week. Sliced four shots in a row. Okay. We need a good finish for the last four holes here, guys. I know this is a long video, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I'm having fun playing St. Andrews here. And we're doing we're doing pretty good. This is the whole deal there that recently that I saw Dustin Johnson drive it straight down that narrow bit. Like, see that narrow bit? He was down just before those bunkers. 344, he drove it. Crazy, crazy distances. Okay, that should be perfect. Oh, slightly sli sliced. No, it came back in at the end, so... If it comes back in at the end, I, I think it means that it, it didn't slice. That was a good one. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. I don't care about that wind. I'm still going to play short here because this is going to kick on. Watch. Watch this kick. Okay, it's not going to kick that much, actually. In in fact, at all. I didn't even kick that much. Wow. At the start, it was kicking way more. It's after getting softer as we got on, is it? Or? For, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... Okay. A rather poor approach shot. That should be good. That's only a small bit short. That's going to be a little bit short, but what are you going to do? If it kicks, if it kicks, kick, kick. That didn't kick either. I think it's, I don't know. But even with the like 56 degrees at the start of the round, they were kicking like mad. But now, even with the pitch wedge and stuff, they're not kicking that it's much at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Players. Good judgment of the speed and the line. Just try to lag it down there. Not enough break, but that's a good lag. That is an I'll take it. Lag I'll take right it. For sure. The speed perfectly. 
And we give the line to Ricky here. here. He is currently five under for his round. That was pushed out a little bit. That's another la nice lagging putt. putt there and just it's fine. It it's right. fine. And getting ready for the putt. Great, yeah, just turn off. That's fine. Display, our back nine, we're level par for our back nine after being six under on the front, our five under on the front nine. Par. That's his par. So we're not doing too hot on the back nine here with either of the guys, but that's the way it is at St. Andrews. The front nine is a lot easier, and the back nine is a lot harder. So basically, that's the way it plays. Well, the normal player would actually try oh yeah, Jordan. Down the left. I've seen the odd player try and hit it down that out of bounds line. They sort of flash it down the right side, but really there's not much in the line of direction unless you're the longest hitter in the business. It's a little short and a little left of the principal's nose. is a nice setup for the second shot here at 16. A little short and a little left, okay. I'll take that pop bunker out of play and then I'll hit, hit three wood here. Well, there's three pop bunkers there now actually, but they're way too far left for me to hit. There's something about a well hit shot. There is something, isn't there? Alright. Perfect. Ricky hit a perfect three wood, 269 yards. Second shot now for Ricky Fowler. Okay. Really, you're gonna hit that far? I think that should be good. Good. No, actually, because look, look at this. Seven mile an hour winds, and that's a downslope right there. So I'm gonna hit it to here. That's still not far enough, is it? Cause that's gonna land on the down slope. Wow, what? That was way short. Way short. Not good at all. It's gonna be a difficult putt as well. Yeah. But the only thing is that, right, if I go up here, I go further, then it's gonna hop away past the pin, but I guess it's better to be past the pin. That's another short swing right there. God damn it. Go, jump, Joe. Go, jump, Joe. Oh, I caught the slope at the top, and that's going to bring it all the way back down. God damn it. Two tough putts here for birdies, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Not quite 70 foot, buddy. Okay, what the hell is going on here? My control is about to turn off again. It's doing this weird thing. Oh Jesus, that's not even nearly enough. Well, Frank, it's our job Thank God it stayed up there. It. Jesus. You can't, you can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Okay, I went 50, so I'm gonna go 58 here because that wasn't even nearly enough. Oh, 59, in fact. And should we be going further right than that? I think we should. Oh yeah, as I'm taking my pawn, nice one. Oh, great putt, Ricky. We often say, Rich, you should always try and make it. I've got to disagree with that. Lag putting. Jordan, it's just about taking the you need this one, buddy. One. There's always other holes to be played. From that distance, you settle for two putts. Wow, I thought really the double break would look good all the cancel way. each other out. It's absolutely just lashing you know, rain here in Ireland right now. This is still one of the longest videos I've ever recorded. <laughs> 43 minutes right now. But what are you going to do? I've recorded a longer podcast, actually, but this is fun. I like it. Two more holes to go. So it should be under 50 minutes. Frank, I'm sorry about the long video, guys, but uh, I know most of you won't even still be sticking it out to here. But if you are, I appreciate you very much. For a hotel? Uh, well, you're aiming over a series of letters that say the old course uh, hotel. If you can hit it exactly over that U, then you will be in the right place. Which I like golf shot. That bunker up ahead, the road hole bunker. Remember David Duval, who got stuck in there? Years ago, Tommy Nakajima, he could hardly ever get that ball out and uh, in the end succumbed, I think, to double figures. Crap. So the hole has Crap. More than one way Crap. Crap. Oh. The road, the road Rich, Jordan's only three under now, damn it. Is Looks like Rich is going to win the open here, ladies and gentlemen. He's five under, two shots ahead with two holes to play, and Jordan's in the heavy rough here. Okay, I'm going to hit that just at the back of the green there, and that should be good because I don't want to be on that slope. Putting up that huge hill. I want to be big. That is going to be. That's going to be short still. Even after all that. Get up. Get up. Stay up there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Stayed up there. I'm going to hit this well up there because I don't want to be 
short. That's basically it. That's still going to be short, is it? No, we're good there. Yeah, we're good. That's fine. That's a birdie butt. Ricky, five under, is cruising here for a win. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Does he? Does he? Oh! Does that not go in? It turns just Amazing. after the hole, too. Good. Um, That's a par, though. Good. Just did not take that final Ricky's right. going to have to it's miss this and point. double the last. Oh, Ricky does the first part. Or even if he bogeys last in Jordan, break, birdies, then it's going to be a playoff. So let me know in the comments, guys, who you think is going to win the Open if you're still here at this stage, this late stage of the video. And we're on the last hole now. Old course. Huzzah! If you're still watching at this point, comment down below. Old course. Huzzah! We'll see how many stuck it out till the end. And the last hole here. It's a beautiful looking drive from Richard Fowler. And he's well up there. He's not that short, far short of the green. Jordan here. Let's see. Ricky is going to win the Open, ladies and gentlemen. Open champion. Boom. Nice. This is the Open 2015. Final group on the final hole. Jordan Speed fist pumping for coming second place. That doesn't happen in real life, I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to go up 63 because that's four foot uphill. I probably didn't need to put that much on it, actually. Because I forgot about the big hops. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, but it's going to be a birdie butt for Jordan. Hopefully he can finish with that bird. Setting up for an approach shot here. This is seven foot up from here, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Rick. So Ricky's going to win the open here. I'll try to hold this last one with Jordan here, too. Ah, uh, no. Nope, nope. All right, Ricky to win the open here, ladies and gentlemen. Good chance here. Let's do this. Five under par. Oh, what? So the short miss, and those are painful. Ricky Fowler is going to win the Open Championship. That's a fact, right here. You heard it here first. Ricky Fowler, 2015 Open Champion, or Dustin Johnson, one of them two, but Dustin isn't in this game, so I'm going to say Ricky. Dustin Johnson or Ricky Fowler, they're my bets for the Open Championship 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's incredibly long. What are you going to do? And I'll see you guys for another video in the near future. There are the scorecards, and I'll see you guys in the next part of PGA Tour very soon. Mahalo.